Brian, and last name C H A N G Chan. My wife gonna say I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> hey, Zhang. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I'm serious, I mean it. <laughs> the policy at that time is if I one child, nobody goes to the countryside, two, one goes. Summer we harvest wheat or any crop, you, it's all bare hand, you know, sickles, you know, that, that's how. It, um, it's from 5 in the morning till 11 at night, that's yeah. They said you reach the end, you go home. You don't reach the end, you don't go home. It could be very long. I tell you, unbearable nights, you know, cold. And then the worst was no hope. That's the worst part. You know, after the Cultural Revolution, you know, everything um, associated with foreign language is really not just bourgeoisie, it's actually dangerous. People get executed, put into jail for speaking English. I actually would start memorizing words, you know, like earth, dirt. Clay, and and the, the farmers really thought I was totally stupid. What this guy doing with a hole? You know, trying to literally trying to plow the field, and that was a hole. Okay, it's H O E, but not H O H. You know, if it's not it's not that hole. You know, I mean H O L E. You know, I mean what's the difference? When I got the scholarship coming to the U S. And it was in the summer of 84. My dad took his whole life savings out, the equivalent of 50 US dollars. So obviously that's not enough to buy the ticket, right? Northwest Airlines donated the ticket. Yes, yes. People really, I, I really think we, this country is, people are lucky.